Legends, and welcome to the 18th episode, the very best episode of the One Bite of the Time show. This is where we go out and find the most relevant and the most important information you need right now in your real estate business in order to help you grow and make money. So today we're going to be talking about several quick subjects. This first part I want Roxanne to share with you is what's just recently changed in the industry, Fannie and Freddie, so that you're understanding how that might change your life and in your business. Roxanne? Thanks, Steve. So right now we're just going to do a little bit of cleaning house. Something you already know is that Freddie Mac is allowing income on ADU. And if you don't know about that, make sure you check out our video on ADU as in rental income. Next thing I want to talk to you about is conforming limits. We have a few investors that are honoring the 715,000 conforming limit for one unit. It's 916,000 for two units, 1,107,000 for three units, and 1,276,000 for four units. What the next means. item I wanna talk about is VA loans for jumbo. We have another investor that will go up to $4 million. So not everyone will do that. If you have a VA loan that is going to be in the jumbo market, we can lend up to $4 million. And the last item on our quick update is HELOCs. We offer HELOCs on both standalone and piggyback. A piggyback HELOC is when you're purchasing a home and in order to not go over into jumbo guidelines, you would have a line of credit to help offset that. And also, again, we are offering standalone HELOCs. Uh, if, you've if you have clients that have locked in that 3% or 2.875% and they don't want to touch that first mortgage but still want to tap into that equity that they've gained the past few years, we can help with that. So make sure you send those clients over. Thank you so much, guys. All right. So here's Steve to give you the bread and butter for today's so here episode. Here we go, part two. So interest rates are going up. Clearly, they're going up. We know that. And that's scaring a lot of people. And we want to help mitigate that for you. And of course, you know, the good thing about the One Body at a Time show is there's a searchable database of all kinds of videos. So if you need more details on some of this information, check the library and you can see more information. The first thing you need to understand about what's going on right now is it's time to pull up your big boy pants or your big girl panties. It's time to really build I don't your think you just panties. <laughs> Back to me. Back to me, camera. Back to me. Okay. So it's time to build your skill set. You need to understand how to do real estate, how to talk to people, how to build your talking point. You need to understand how to use the rent versus buy calculator so you can help buyers understand the difference. There'll be a video about that shortly in the One Bite at a Time searchable library. But you need remember, to rent is 100% interest. Yes, interest rates are going up. You might see 6 or 7 or 8% interest rate before long. Who knows? But rent is 100% interest. There's no equity there's growth. No there's no home ownership. There's no control. Um, you know, your landlord relationship can be different. Landlords can change. Landlords can be unpredictable. You know, there's a lot of reasons to understand why you'd want to buy a home matter in what market. In fact, I believe... There's never a time not to buy a home. There's never a time that you'd be better off renting a house. Of course, we could all look back and say in, the, in 2011, we could look back and say, gee, holy moly, I wish I wouldn't have bought that house in 2008. On the other hand, you got to understand the rest of that story. Learn how to talk about the qualities, the benefits of real estate ownership. You're in control. You're building roots. You've got family memory memories. You you don't have to worry about landlords and rent going up. If you have a 30-year fixed rate, your payment's not going to change. You've got some stability in your life. These are the benefits of home ownership. And reality is you're going to build equity. You're going to build financial security. There's, There's so still so many benefits to owning a home today. Don't let your clients believe that they should rent now 
until values go down. Because I don't know if that's going to happen. We don't know if that's going to happen. They don't know if that's going to happen. That's kind of like trying to time the stock market. It's better to get into home ownership now. Uh, the most important thing when a buyer is buying a home in an unpredictable market is that they can afford the payment. They're not overbuying. Just make sure that they can afford a payment and remind them that they can always refinance. Interest rates go up, interest rates go down. It's never the same from market to market. So they can always refinance. So let's get into- Okay guys, so that was a lot of information to take in and something that's probably weighing on a lot of people's minds right now. Um, if you're in this business, it definitely should be on your mind right now, but it's how to deal with the fear of the crash, not just with ourselves, but also for our clients. So here's our tips. This chart here is an equity growth chart for the US real estate history. You'll see here that we've only had a significant decline in values once in the past 70 years. Not only show this to your client, but make sure you take a look at it. You have to know this is a great investment for any family. And if you want a copy of these charts, by the way, let me know, let us know, and we'll definitely send you a copy of these charts so you can have them in your quiver. Now, this chart shows that since 2008 and the great correction, what happened? Well, interest rates went started going down and we saw values going way up when we had the liar loans out there. And people need to understand what happened in the 2008 crash because people are still, well, people are still a little nervous about that because a lot of people got burned during that period of time. This is a completely different world right now. This is a completely different situation. So this chart here shows what happened during the great correction of 2008, 9, and 10. But look at what happened afterward. It didn't take very long for the real estate market to correct. And it corrected fast. So people in 2011 really wished they hadn't bought in 2008. But then when they lost their home or they let it go, by 2015, they were wishing they hadn't let it go. So just understand that there was a lot of people that got burnt for no good reason at all. If they would have just held on to that real estate, and more importantly, if they could have afforded to hold on to that real estate, they'd be a happy camper today, wouldn't they? And I agree with that, Steve. Something that people forget, the difference of today's market and, 2000, and 2008 market is the different types of loans that were being produced. I I would say if we were able to take a poll for all the homeowners back in 2008, if their payment had never increased due to those loans, um, you know, negative AM loans or option payments, if, if their payment had always stayed the same, would they have let their house go at that time? And I, and, and I, if I were to take a poll, I'm pretty sure a lot of people would not have let their house go, even with the values plummeting. The only reason why they had to let it go is they were unable to refinance due to the low value and increased payment. So remember, right. th this statement is true. If you don't have to sell, you can never lose money in real estate. If you look at history, real estate values always come up. Let's just assume the worst possible situation could ever happen. Sooner or later, real estate values are going to come up. So if you can afford that payment, if you've got good insurance in case something happens to one of the parties who make payments, if you've got disability insurance, and these are really important things to have in order to make sure that you can afford these payments. Just make sure that you and your clients are making good decisions. If you're making good decisions, if you're not overbuying, and if you can afford the payment and you've got insurance, well, then you're not gonna have to sell. If you don't have to sell in a down market, you can't lose money. That's the way I explain this to people about real estate. Real estate is awesome. It's never gonna go to zero. It's always gonna return, or at least it has in the last 300 years. So we can assume it's going to continue you to know, do that. Buy within your means and uh, know what your mortgage payment is. And the beauty of being a homeowner and when you have a mortgage is that when interest rates lower, we can always refinance to lower that payment. And to wrap this show up, I want to remind everybody that you have access to this incredible mug. Now, this, as this picture shows, this mug is being used by people all over the world in meetings. Well, maybe not all over the world, but it's a great mug. And if you have this mug, there will be some special prizes and incentives in the future. So all you have to do is 
All you have to do is register for the show. Go back to the email you got to get this show. And you need to subscribe for our YouTube channel. That's the One Bite at a Time show slash Vintage Mortgage Firm. Or it's the other way around, Vintage Mortgage Firm slash the One Bite at a Time show. And subscribe and let us know you did. And we'll send you an email. Also, remember, October 13th, we want you to come to our party. It's going to be at the Murrieta uh, Wine Bar. Right. It's going to be a lot of fun. If you're there, the first two drinks are on me. And we're looking forward to a good time and we'll want to have you there and just get an opportunity to meet with you and, and uh, have some fun and have a little bit of downtime. Make sure you send us an email to RSV for the event. We can't wait to see you there.